Well, hi there, this is Scott Duffy from softwarearchitect.ca. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the upcoming changes to the AZ-900 exam. So Microsoft just updated the official landing page for AZ-900. And on it, they talk about how there are some exam changes that are coming up on September 15th. So that's about three weeks away. So it's a relatively short period of time to prepare for these changes. Now, if we scroll down and we look at the changes under the exam outline, it's actually quite significant. So it's not a, a small amount of changes. So we go into the PDF here, we can see the old requirements, scroll down, we can see the new requirements, and then they do this differential at the bottom here, which is the difference between the old and the new. We can see some changes to the percentages, some new items being added, some things being taken away. So in this video, we're going to sort of go over what's changing with AZ-900. So the AZ-900 exam used to have four significant categories, and now that's expanded to six. The first category is cloud concepts, and it's now 20 to 25% of the exam score. We can see there's been a 5% increase in that. Some new topics have been added to define cloud computing, benefits of cloud computing. This is pretty basic stuff. This course already contained definition of cloud computing before and they're talking about the benefits. And so this has been added to the requirements um, formally. Shared responsibility model has been added and the concept of serverless computing. Now, what's been taken away is just a few minor things. So the concept of economies of scale, fault tolerance, and being able to compare the three major types of services in the cloud. That's not much that's been taken away. In terms of the second section, we've got called core Azure services. It's actually been split into two. So it used to be worth 30%, 30 to 35% of the exam score. Now it's broken into two sections. This first section is half of it, 15 to 20%. They're talking about the defi definition of an Azure resource, region pairs, the subscriptions and management groups, which was moved up from another section, so this isn't new to the course. Windows Virtual Desktop and a Virtual Network Peering, Microsoft Express Route, and SQL Managed Instances as a database type. So that's quite a little bit that's been added to this section, even though the section is half of what it used to be. They've removing some of those advanced features like load balancing, application gateway, content delivery network, database migration, VM scale sets. This is a new section. So like I said, the last section was split into two. It's called Core Solutions. It's worth 10 to 15%. And they've added quite a lot into this section now. So it used to be just talking about Internet of Things. Now they've added Azure Sphere as uh, into the Internet of Things section, Azure Bot Service, GitHub and GitHub Actions. You know, Microsoft owns GitHub now, and GitHub Actions is an integration between GitHub and Azure. Microsoft Azure actually has a mobile app and I've used it to stop and start servers before. Uh, this is now going to be covered by this exam and the concept of ARM templates, Azure Resource Manager templates. Nothing has been removed from this section. So just things have just been added. Now, what used to be the security, privacy, compliance and trust section has been completely split into two. So we can treat these as two new sections. One is the security, which is its own section, 10 to 15%, couple of new topics, Azure Sentinel and Azure dedicated hosts. And what they've removed, again, some of the more advanced stuff, user defined routes, application security groups, AIP and ATP. So that's no longer covered by this exam. Now the second half of that uh, has been split into identity governance policy and compliance. New items to this section are Microsoft's core tenants of security and the cloud adoption framework. And only one thing has been removed, which is zones for billing purposes. So as you can see, quite a lot has been added to this exam or moved stuff around. Some percentages have been tweaked um, and not much has been removed. So uh, anyways, this has been sort of the overview of what's changing in the next three weeks. I am going to be taking my existing AZ-900 course, which is one of the best-selling courses on the topic on the internet. 
and I'm going to be re-recording it. So this is now the second or third change that we've seen this year for the AZ900 test. Microsoft is clearly honing in on the level of skills and details that they want for this for people who've passed this. Uh, so it's time to go and re-record this course. So in the next few days, I'm going to uh, go through start to finish, re-record all those videos. So if you're not part of that course, uh, go to sjd.ca slash AZ900, and you can pick up that course today for a great price, and you'll get the updates as soon as they're live in the course. I think within the next uh, two weeks, you'll see those updates in the course. Uh, if you are in the course, you're already getting the updates for free. There's nothing for you to do. So this has been Scott Duffy from Software Architect. Thank you so much. Hopefully this is helpful as you're studying for the AZ900 Azure Fundamentals exam and what you need to add to your studies in order to pass after September 15th, 2020.